I've been unintentionally imitating one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, Cory X Kenshin. So, I felt unclean. A few examples. Yeah, I just wanted to bring that up and change my Alright. Okay, so welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead. Telltales. The Walking Dead. I honestly, I enjoy this game a lot. It's been not as enjoyable recording it and editing and stuff. So... I think that I'm going to finish out this game, Season 1, um, and record it here. But uh, for Season 2 and Season 3, I might just play it. So yeah, let's go. It'll tell us what happened before. Previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They did. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. Can we at least look for my parents when we get there? They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the <clears throat> railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! So, <laughs> oh. no. Oh. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? You're right. I owe her. Somehow, I gotta make it right. Clementine! Dramatic intro sequence. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. <laughs> Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a... Holy... Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Dad! I don't know who you are, but I will kill you! Do that's, you understand? That's the option I chose at the end of- I know you will. She knows you will. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Those were the next words I chose at the end of the last episode. <laughs> Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? Not great. My hand is hot. Up a little bit. You seem okay for now. Yeah, totally. We don't have much time. Okay, Omid. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Hmm. There are doors up there. It's an elevator. Huh? I can't get my hands in between the doors. Guess that's not gonna work. So just some surgical supplies.
Looks like a car jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Elevator doors, perhaps? I'll have these doors open in two seconds. One, two. I guess they're kind of open. No! No, don't kill me. Sorry, pal. I gotta do it. Oh. Whoa! Stop! He's awake! He's still bitten! So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, Chop buy him some time. Off. Do we have to cut it off, though? Do we know it works? We don't know anything. Is there gonna be a lot of blood? There's gonna be a load of blood. What if he Your dies? Weak sauce, ben. Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the out of Savannah. Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a big risk. Yeah. We're down here without a lot of options. Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. It was easier when I thought he was out. I'll go as fast as I can. <laughs> if I don't live through this, I need you to know you. <laughs> Try to stay still. <laughs> oh God! I know. <laughs> Blur that out in post. Shoot. Uh, they leave me behind. Haha. <laughs> I want to keep my oh, arm. We thought maybe we'd lost Bring you. It. You've been out a while, man. So bad. But maybe now I got more time. Do you think you'll be able to travel? You lost some blood. I gotta be able to travel. Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on it.
just pee myself. So yes, then. <laughs> Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. Did they follow us here? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? The train wasn't exactly discreet. Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up and all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. Nobody said it was good. See anything? There's a fire escape here, and that's about it. You still want to die? I'm more afraid of getting someone else killed. I'll make sure that doesn't happen as well as I can. Thanks. I including me? Getting bitten's not that bad. Really? No. It's a death sentence. It's horrible. <laughs> but try not to worry about it. If we get over to that bell tower, we might have some impact on all those walkers out there. But then we just run through the streets? I, I don't know. Alright. Now I go get that ladder. Uh, boom. <laughs> Whoa. You need some help with that? I got it. Okay, Lee. Ooh. The bells. Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. <coughs> Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll do it. Yeah, Ben will do it. <laughs> if we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Lee, no. We letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers. Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. <laughs> that thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that yourself next time. Yep. Thanks, Kenny. I'm climbing. There we go. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No. Try to find another way out of there? It's locked.
They're coming this way! Tons of them! Now get back here! Hmm. Hmm. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. You got this. You got this. Oh, I almost missed it. Good leap, pal. <laughs> Thanks. Let's get off this roof. I know. How come that gunshot didn't draw any walkers? Holy... What the <clears throat> Come on! Just come the f on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? How could this happen? This was Vernon. You think so? Definitely. Hey guys, Lee's right. It was Vernon and that support group. Wait, the invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who have been dealing with situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a if their make a wish was a boat ride. When I find them, I'm going to rip their throats out. We would have done the same. Says the guy who wouldn't take a box of food from an abandoned car. Things have changed. He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us and Clementine behind. They us. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. Well, that sucks. This is not happening. Everything is so. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the f out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, Hello. that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get smart with me, Ben. <laughs> Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean, <clears throat> immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. Then you have no right. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. Yeah, what do we punch do him. without a boat. Get to the countryside. Around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the f do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill, <laughs> not just you. Chill? Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left you in Crawford. We got enough problems. You, Kenny? Whoa, Ben! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katya and Duck. I am! And I know I f***ed up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. 
They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse, and I don't know. So give me a break. Oh, Ben, I'm. Come in the house. The shot did draw walkers. Oh my gosh. Ben just got like real level eleven. They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Uh. Uh. I'm checking the living room. Everyone else, look I tried for to weapons. press something. <laughs> what is it? Oh shoot! Front doors. Lee, help! Cut the arms off! There's got to be a knife or something in there. Hurry! Yeah. Take the arms off! Hey! Oh snap! Hey! Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. Told you, Krista. Oh, it's dirty it's Bree. Get upstairs. Go. Bree, no. Sorry. Guys, help me with this. Everyone get to the end of the hallway. What do we do now? This will slow him down. Get to the end of the hallway and take a stand. We can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Two. Y'all know where to aim. Get ready. More like five, four, three, two, one. One. There we go. Yeah, come out. I'm out. Me too. Dropped it down there. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third, Industrial Mead, Krista, just trying to lighten the f tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. Ouch, Krista. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. Can't we fight our way back through the house? I've got a weapon. What else do we have? Not much. It'd be a mess going back down there. I'll go. We're no good to Clementine dead. <coughs> hey, you're not looking great, and you're warm. I'm okay. Don't. I'm okay. I'm wearing pants. No. 
What does that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. We have to go now. Like right this minute. Where, Lee? Come on. We're trapped. Do you think that worked? I, I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. All right, well, that's it for today's video. We talked to that guy on the radio, said we were coming for him, taken style. Then we opened that elevator door, they cut Lee's arm off, then we left through the elevator, climbed over to the bell tower to distract the walkers, climbed down the fire escape, got back to the house. The boat was stolen by Vernon, so now we're kind of screwed. We're stuck in that house. Hopefully, we'll find a way out soon. That's all for now.